Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is iTalk. What's harder than this Studio Ghibli? Here and in today's video, we have a brand new video. So today we got something in our laps that is very interesting to say the least. We got a Has Been Hotel fan song in Fortnite. That's kind of a big deal in a lot of certain ways. First of all, the show has been Hotel, which I'll be straight up with you. I know little to nothing about. The only thing I know about it is I believe that the person that voices Billy Maxwell Adams is in that show, which is cool because if you don't know, my icon, my YouTube you know, character is from the show Billy and Mandy. So that's really cool that there's like a connection there. Um, also, I do know that the show is indie, which is cool. I like to see like indie projects kind of take off and it's nice to see fan animations, stuff like that make its way or make its rounds rather on the internet. I think it's a really cool thing. And then not only that, but this is a fan song for Has Been Hotel. It's not even an official song and it has like I think I checked it, it was like 50 million views on YouTube, like that's insane. Like I was just so shocked by this because it's a bop, by the way. Like this emote is like definitely going to be on my wheel for a while. It's a really fun beat. I love the movements with it. I wish the pickaxe was actually like a pickaxe and not just for the emote. But regardless, it's still a really fun emote and I really do like it. And why I wanted to talk about it today is because this opens up the door for a lot. Okay, anything you can think of that's like a fan animation or anything that can have like a song with it that isn't even like officially tied to said media can come to the game. I think the closest thing we had to something similar to this was with the Gilded Guy collaboration. That was a huge thing because that was like an animator, not like a big super like produced show. I'm pretty sure that was also indie as well. So that was really cool when we got that. And with this, I think this also just kind of adds on to the fact that even fan songs can make it into Fortnite. And that's honestly like a really cool feeling to know that the smallest of the small can make it into the game. You don't have to be a top tier celebrity to make it into Fortnite. You really don't need to. You can just come up with a song and you could literally just be in Fortnite, right? And you know, people have clamored for like Chug Jug with you to be in the game. I do wish that was also in the game as well. They've hinted at it a few times here and there with TikToks and other sort of media. And then you also got to wonder here, this is the big thing is people really want a Five Nights at Freddy's collaboration here in Fortnite. I do as well. I do know a lot about Five Nights at Freddy's if you count me watching every Markiplier Let's Play as knowing about it. I also have seen retrospectives. I've seen videos based on like how like the story is and all the theories and all that. Like it's a really fun topic to kind of delve into. And it's, it's something that's been on a lot of people's minds. We've been asking for this for a while, ever since we started getting IP collaborations for specific holidays, like Michael Myers was a really big one for us, right? With that in the game, you would assume that like FNAF just has to happen, right? Like there's just no brainer. And if you have seen the movie, the end of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, they played the Living Tombstone song for the Five Nights at Freddy's video game almost a decade ago at this point. That is like really horrifying to think that this song came out almost 10 years ago. But yeah, we had this fan song made by the Living Tombstone and this has 348 million views on YouTube. This was played at the end of the FNAF movie. And what is interesting about this whole thing with the Has Been Hotel thing is that now it's pretty much like, okay, when is Five Nights at Freddy's coming to the game? And if it's not FNAF, at least the Living Tombstone song, right? Like, if you can do Has Been Hotel, which is definitely smaller, I would say, in comparison to the popularity of FNAF, it's still very popular, do not get me wrong, I do understand that, but like, FNAF is a juggernaut, right? Five Nights at Freddy's is a juggernaut of a franchise, and I mean, with the movie coming out, I generally thought when the movie came out, we would get the skins because it would tie in very well with the promotion material as well as like the movie and stuff like that. I would have loved to see that. And I'm waiting with bated breath every Halloween now. What collaborations are we getting in Fortnite? Because FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's would be a phenomenal addition to the game. They would be so bulky. I'm very aware of that but it would still really be cool to get at least the original casting, you know, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and 
uh, Foxy. If we just got those four, and I mean, Golden Freddy could be an edit style for Freddy. If you, I, I don't know. Like, how would you really do that? Uh, it's not according to the lore. I mean, if you want him to just make it edit styles, I, I don't know. I can't see the problem with making Freddy into Golden Freddy at the same time. I don't see the issue with that. But my point is, is that because we have an Hasbro Hotel indie show and it's an indie song that isn't even tied to the official show in Fortnite. You got to imagine that we might see FNAF make its way into the game at some point. Like we always thought we would see it because it's always been in those surveys and all that, but we haven't really seen anything come out of those. And I'm pretty sure those are just computerly generated and Fortnite doesn't really hard look at those, I guess. I don't really know, but it almost tells me that this is a sign that indie songs, indie sort of collaborations like this, especially with like an animation that isn't even on TV, you know, like, I, I feel like we could see this. I feel like we could see FNAF in the game. And we got to thank the has -Been Hotel emote here. We got to thank it because if it wasn't for this, we would not really know, like, oh, is Fortnite serious about maybe dropping an emote on us like that or like a skin or a few skins, whatever have you. And the thing I wanted to also mention as well is that there is a leaked emote in the game right now that really seems like... Oh yeah, this is Five Nights at Freddy's related. It's called Glitchin, and I'm telling you right now, this is gotta be meaning something, right? Like, maybe it isn't for Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm not gonna say it is, but like, it's crazy that we have this emote in the game that's gonna be coming out sometime soon. And if we have this, what's not to say that we get FNAF later, right? Like, I know we're getting the second FNAF movie sometime in the near future. Maybe that's when we get the collaboration. We'll have to wait and see on it, but I'm very excited to see what they do moving forward because I like this sort of stuff. I like seeing actual collaborations make its way in the game that are very indie and aren't super commercialized and isn't sped up, isn't Nightcore, and isn't all this like ridiculous sped up versions of songs. Like I'm happy with this emote that we got. It's on my wheel. I don't see it leaving my wheel anytime soon, and I'm just excited to see what we will get here in the future of Fortnite. Guys, that is it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a like and subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and use code ITALK in the Fortnite item shop if you'd like to support me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you all later. See ya.